what is the shadow of the valley of death? Wait, valley of the shadow of death. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast. I am Spencer Cardier. And I am Sasparilla. Sasparilla, nice to meet you. Um, and this is Frank, who recently just got his hair done. Mm-hmm. Um, he's looking extravagant. Compliment him because he <laughs> has pretty low self-esteem. Yeah, so he's, he's, he's just trying things out. He's trying things out. He's trying to find himself and mm-hmm. that's kind of what we're all doing. Yeah. But he's just being, what was our one podcast on? express yourself remember that podcast <laughs> yeah, yeah i do he's expressing himself the only way he knows how through color um i hope everyone watched yesterday's podcast it was a good one mm-hmm. on winter and going out of it it was another gorgeous day yeah we got some time to work on the van which is always nice i know you guys are waiting on it but it's tough and a challenge that we meet head on right because we have the lord on our side and anime. <laughs> How does that go? I've got an I've got God and anime on my side. Yeah. You ever see that clip? I have the power of God and anime on my side. Wait, you- yeah, of course. Um, so today is not one word Wednesday, because that was yesterday. So wait, what is today? Don't tell me. It's walk through Thursday. Roll the intro. Welcome back. Hope you're having fun. Cuz walk through Wednesday just begun. It's walk through Thursday, y'all. You know what that means? It means we're talking about the two, three, P S A L M. The twenty third Psalm, your favorite Psalm, a lot of people's favorite Psalm. Yeah. But we're diving into it and we're saying why? Why is this everyone's we're favorite? Dissecting psalm? it. We're dissecting it. So what have we talked about so far? We talked about the first three verses. And they go how? The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He guides me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Well, we've covered a lot of it, haven't we? And I think we found a little little diamonds in it. Oh, yeah. Through word by word. But this week, this week... Is the week I've been waiting for. One of the most famous lines. It's today's the 11th. Oh, it's March 11th. (laughs) You guys know I love 11s because my birthday is on the 11th. So this is one of my 11 mini birthdays. And in two months, it will be my major birthday. (laughs) Right. But this line of the 23rd Psalm, I would go as far as say is top two of the of the most quoted lines from this psalm maybe top five of lines quoted in the bible i would agree with you top top 10 for sure top five it's a contest so it's an exciting day to say the least would you like to say it would you like me to say it you can say it all right i've practiced this one (laughs) yay though i've walked oh i think I i said i've let me try again. Oh, I thought you were going to do like the Biggie Smalls version or something, <laughs> the way you started. <laughs> Isn't there like a rap song? <laughs> no, there is. Um, it's, it's Coolio. Oh, okay. It's, as I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I take a look at my life and realize there's nothing left. As I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I take a look at my life and realize there's nothing left. Because I've been mashing and brand. So it's a little so different. <laughs> Even though my moms think that my mind is gone, but I ain't never heard a man that didn't deserve to get you treated like a pimp. You know it's unheard of. You better ha- watch how you're walking and how you're talking, or you're gonna be the one who ends up in a. Co- All right, Coolio, check him out. He's before my time, but his music transcends time. It's timeless. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for Thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Yeah. That's deep. Yeah. So, so I mean, first of all, just take it all in. Take yeah. take it all in. Let it wash over you. And now we're going to break it down for you and for break us. Down. We, we, don't, we don't have a, a pre-podcast interview. No. We haven't broken down yet. So let's... No. Let's... And as I said... 
Um, first of all, I'm going to try really hard your um, your challenge to not say you know. You know, um, I lit- when I was editing yesterday. I was very tempted to put in a tally. Yeah. But I didn't want it to seem uh attacky. Okay, like, yeah. I don't I don't want to be too hard on ourselves. Yeah. But it's now this podcast. Maybe I'll I'll throw in a tally yeah. if I if I hear it. I'll try. Uh the twenty third Psalm. Um now I get, now I'm like so scared. You, you, yeah, you even have <laughs> you use like five more filler words just know, to stop using the one filler word um wait what were we just saying though we said we we're gonna break it down yeah oh uh i've said it before you just said we don't practice we don't know what we don't know how we're going to we don't know what we're going to find we're our archaeologists with our little brushes and we're going to dust the ground and with this verse um the fact that i love this prayer and i say it all the time and have it memorized um Every time, not every time, I can't say that, but I, I learn th- new things about it all the time. Yeah. Or, or, you know, not learn new things, but I get, <laughs> I get, out, I get stuff out of it. That yeah, you get new things out of it. It was never real, revealed to me What before. do people say about the Bible? That it's a living book or something? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So that for sure, it's my, one of my favorite lines, but let's, let's break it down. Okay. So let's start with. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, because even to go further, that's the line right there. Like, yeah. in, in Coolio, that's the yeah. one. That's the one he because puts. it's so. It seems a little dark. It yeah. seems it's like, and in that way, it's powerful. Yeah. Um, I kind of, even though it's the most favorite verse of, and the most well known, and the most powerful, people love to put it in. It's been in so many, um songs and movies and everything um i kind of don't like it because i feel that it sets a tone for the psalm that it's really not very descriptive of the whole entire psalm Mm. the 23rd psalm has traditionally been used for funerals Uh, okay so it's like it's like a a focus on death and and it's like well don't worry because you know you know they pass through and stuff like that but it was it, but to me it's like it's so much more than that yeah i mean i i never really thought about it being a death psalm because i think it is a so much of a life psalm mm-hmm. you know like from the beginning to the end i honestly think the people who if someone dies maybe i'm just, maybe they're it, it's good for the people who are still alive because that's what i think is important mm-hmm. here in this psalm it's to, well, yeah, it, it's a lack of worry. You know, the person who's dead, they're not worrying. They're they're and maybe the gates. and maybe that was the motivation of why. But now people attribute it. With, yeah, but people just like focus on that. Yeah. And, and if you just listen to it, the specific part of that line of the famous line, it is not the valley of death. It's the valley of the shadow of death. Right. Well, that, that's the first thing we're going to uncover. I was okay. going to ask, what is the shadow of the valley of death? Wait, valley of the shadow of death. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a way to start you don't know earth the valley of the shadow of death yea though i walk through the v- well okay immediately and i've seen photos like it mm-hmm. you see this ravine the, yeah a ravine is what i'm thinking when there are like two mountains and you yeah, walk I into think it so. and it's dark and it's scary and you're passing through it yeah but is well, that what at, it is at the very least we know what a valley is and that is what you just described the yeah. valley so <laughs> yeah uh, okay so yeah though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death now if you think there's lots of imagery about crossing over to the other side like you know the, ri- the river sticks yeah it, you know you have to cross something to get to heaven get to the you know the yeah. afterlife and we live on this side and we talked about it with the curtain yeah. podcast yeah um so i'm just thinking of things you know if if death is the mountain that's separating us are we in the, we are like you know the dark side of the moon yeah you know is is heaven doesn't have the shadow that's here's death separating us heaven's yeah. here are we so we're not we're in the because we will have to pass through death i like what you're saying and i agree with it 100 percent I think. Well, first of all, I'm go, I'm going to start here. I think that the valley, or this valley of the shadow of death, can be translated to anything. Yeah. But on the grand, on the biggest scale, I think it's just life in general. 
I think you're, you, you hit the nail on the head, as the kids say, where when people go through life, everyone's going to die. Mm-hmm. It's sort of always, it's, it is the, the monster in the corner of the room that you can keep on living, but you, right. you, uh, you're, you can keep on going to your normal thing, but they always right. know death is coming. Yeah, that's how I, you know, when you get depressed about death or or anxious, you know, it's very, very hard to come out of that yeah. because no one can convince you that you're not going to die. Yeah. And so when you think of a shadow, right, think of a monster. And did you ever see the, in like movie, a scary movie or something where you just see the monster shadow? Yeah. And it's it's like... You, you always you know it's there you know mm-hmm. it's somewhere it's not attacking you you've not come face to face with the monster you've not come right. face to face with death but it's so if you're going through this valley of the shadow of death and the the you the shadow follows you everywhere yeah like you said it's not i hope i'm one of the lucky ones who don't die everyone knows they're gonna die right and so you but you just have to go through that and I'll, we'll come back to it, but let's let's keep going on to the okay. next line, using this uh, analogy of the sha- the valley of the shadow of death being Earth mm-hmm. and living an earthly life with a a temporary earthly life mm-hmm. um, on Earth. I'm just gonna keep saying Earth, <laughs> Earthling. Oh, the shadow. I, I will fear no evil, mm-hmm. for Thou art with me. Right. Thy rod and thy staff they comfort me. Right. So. It just goes along, like, it, I think overall, it's, we said it in the beginning, we said it in, in all the weeks of this idea of the shepherd and the lamb, was this not worrying. Right. And so, not worrying because why? Because the shepherd, Jesus, is with you always, and he won't let the wolves attack you and stuff. Mm-hmm. But I think now this is broadened in and out, and it's like, you're, you're traveling through this temporary place right. that can be scary, can right. be dark. And you know that there's an end, but don't worry, because for thou with me, you know, if, if, if then you know, I'm gonna get through it. Of this isn't the end. This valley of You're the shadow of death yeah. isn't the end. Mm-hmm. And it, you, it's a, it's not just. I'm with you. We're both in this. It, it, it's this protector image. Yeah, absolutely. You get with their rod, rod and their staff, it's like. You feel empowered by it. Right. If it was just, I am with you, you'd say, okay, well, now we're both in this ravine together. You right. know, you, 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 it doesn't really help me. Now what, we're both going to die? No, it's like, I got you. Rod and staff? Yeah. I can just imagine. Yeah. So that's what I think. Yeah, so many things are popping in my mind. When You know, when just the one part of accompanying an unaccompanied minor. If you're under 16 and you have to travel on a plane, yeah. you can pay for the airline staff to accompany you. Mm -hmm. So that same thought of your, you know, going through where we are going through life as unaccompanied minors. So God accompanies us. Um, Also, when you were talking about shadows, um, have you ever seen the, I always feel bad, but the little videos of when the kids first see their their shadows. Oh no, they get scared. They're terrified. They're terrified yeah. and they, they can't get away from it because yeah. they're the ones making the shadow. And shadows are always scary. Yeah. Y- y- when you see your, your jacket on, on the chair at night and it's yeah. like, what is that? Oh, yeah. I, I sleep in the same room as Frank. So I know all about <laughs> oh scary, <my> <laughs> scary shadows. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, you know, it's funny because it's sort of like nothing is scary because God says, don't, don't, do not be afraid. Yeah. So, He is, I think he's saying, there's not real, real danger, meaning like how we talked about the other day, your soul is so protected and such is going to missile, you know, straight to heaven, but we are afraid. And what are we afraid of? We're afraid of shadows. So he's not going to say, you know, when when someone said, you know, even to a child, you know, if this child's scared and, and, and you say, um. Like, like you're more like mad at them or dismissive. Yeah. There's nothing to be afraid of. Yeah. He is more, I will even protect you from the shadows. Yeah. You know, because we think death is scary. Mm-hmm. He knows death isn't scary. Yeah. Jesus has said, like, I've destroyed death. There's nothing to be afraid of, but we're still going to be afraid of it our whole entire life. Yeah. So we're afraid of the shadow of it. 
because the shadow's always there, and then we don't know when we're going to shadow. Say. We let the sh- the shadows torment us of yeah. what it could possibly mean, yeah. or you know. Um. So, yeah, like all these things were going through my head as you were talking. Yeah. Um. Definitely, uh, I, I agree. And so now to sort of dial back and talk about the day to day use, mm-hmm. I like using that idea of you know it being all of life is sort of this shadow of death how is it not yeah you know like as the moment you're born you have a finite number of breaths until you die but i love this prayer i love this part because it can be used for any trial or tribulation you're going through whether it's mental health whether it's financial struggle Mm -hmm. whether it's physical attack whether it's demonic attack watch out for them demons but with what you're saying, these are all parts of life. Right. These are all parts of, 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 and so when it's, I think that's what the, I will fear no evil is. The shadow of death is, that's the entire thing. I'm, and, and bad things can happen in this valley. Right. Because it's, it's not the perfect heaven. Right. It is, it's earth. It's and, the dark and, and side, it's, yeah. It has the balance of, of good and bad horrors and, and greatness. And so then it's that I will fear no evil is all of those earthly things. I, I don't believe there's any depression in heaven. I right. don't believe there's any you disease, know, uh, yeah. disease mm-hmm. natural disaster. And so those are all the evils that happen within the shadow of death. Right. And I almost think that's more of what you're being defended with the rod and staff. Right. It's, as you're walking through this valley, it's... It could be this because it, it talking about the f- a valley of the shadow of death. It could be I'm waiting for you on the other side. The shepherd is on the other side waiting with open arms. Mm-hmm. But I think that's like I think the second part goes with the third part. Mm-hmm. I will fear no evils through this valley, and I'm not alone. Right. That is where. That's why I don't fear it. That's why I don't fear it. Right. Is because I'm walking hand in hand with Jesus, God, right. whoever, whatever name you want to use, who has that rod and staff. To fight off any evils that happen in this earthly right. world, in that valley of the shadow of death. <laughs> <laughs> no, it really is. And even the way you said it was good because it is, it is, it is, um, you know, really trying to drive home the fact that there's nothing to fear. Yeah. Um, you're not alone. You're you're in. It's not the valley of death. It's the valley, sh- the shadow of death. You're not alone. Mm-hmm. And yeah, so there's really nothing to fear, but you're going to, f- it's okay since you're fearing it. Yeah. Let me tell you this. You're not alone. Plus, I have weapons with me. Yeah. You know. You're, you're with someone who's well guarded. Imagine, again, a child. I I think there's a monster under my bed. Yeah. Okay. And the dad comes in with an AK-47. <laughs> it's like, what monster can handle that? You know, if, you, t- if you took the child can. really seriously and you, and you said, I'm going to stay in this room with you. And yes, I have weapon, um, <laughs> monster fighting weapons, yeah. you know, as opposed to shutting the door and saying, you're on your own. You'll yeah. make it to morning, you know. Um, yeah, no. And, and uh, I love using the parent god analogy because i think it, it goes so hand in hand mm-hmm. it, it that was a good example i wasn't listening to you but now i'm listening to you, <laughs> you said that a lot <laughs> yeah it's because it's <laughs> like i'm sort of on half listen and then like my ears perk up i'm like wait a second that's something um so this this fa- actually this human father human son human mother human son never daughter <laughs> <laughs> uh is a very good analogy and that's what i was kind of getting at where it's like it's not that I'm in heaven if the valley of the shadow of death is life. Don't don't worry. Go yeah. through walk through it. I'm not telling you to stay in it. Walk through it. Right. I'll be here. And then they shut the door and the kid's like, it's that parent is literally saying, No, I'm I'm here with you all night. I got I got like don't fear anything under the bed. Like you, and and don't worry. Like don't even you don't even worry about fighting the battles on your own. It's not like right. okay, well you're over there, so if I go check, it's like they're the ones with the rod and staff. Right. You just have to have faith in them. Right. You got to have faith in Pops to fight the monster right. under your bed. Right. And and if you um if you say, "Wait, there is no monster under my Like it's not like God is trying to perpetuate the you need me because there's demon. Like 
he's saying in the prayer, there is no demon. It's, yeah. The shadows are scaring you and yeah. I will protect you. You know, so yeah. Um, and that's why, like I said, I don't like when people say that it's a death prayer or whatever, because. No more saying it's a death prayer. It's very much a living prayer. Yes. It's talking about living. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. The only reason you should be saying it at a funeral is if you are talking to um, com- so comforting yourself because because the person who has passed on, they're on the they're not in the shadow of the valley. They're in the bright side. Yeah. Oh, that's what I was thinking. I'm like, I'm not done talking about this yet. That's the other thing I want to dwell on. Just one word. But in the earlier things, we got sort of stationary actions. Mm-hmm. I make if you lie down. I make right. if you lie down. Right. Oh, I walk by. And it's like, it's that's it. Mm-hmm. We're walking by green pastures. You're laying down. This, the key word is through. Yeah. Walk it's, through it, Thursday. It's not, <laughs> I lay if you down in the valley. Right. Uh, yeah. Death. You have it's to not, stay there. Yeah. It's not even, I. I how does the um, walk by still waters? Through? Um, he leadeth me beside the still waters. It's not he leadeth me. Bes- he leadeth me beside the valley of the shadow yeah. of death. It's yea, though I walk through. What does right. through mean? Please definition. Definition mm-hmm. bubble. What does yeah, through mean? It means Just, uh, Cliff Notes version. <laughs> I don't, uh, you know, going. I can't think it, of a it, word that it, doesn't it, involve through. You're going from point A to point yes. B, and you're not staying in the line in between. Right. You're going through it. You're pushing past it. It's an active you know and and so statement. I, I, yeah it's that's the other thing about the line mm-hmm. it's that we you during in life you know you trust and you lay down by green pastures and stuff but as far as overall grand scheme of right. it and going through these more of the trials and tribulations during all that you're looking for the green pastures and and stuff but overall right. you're walking through it you gotta keep one foot in front of the other it's the only yeah. way to get through it like the abominable snowman. Um, <laughs> I can't, I'm not using that um, clip again because I already used it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, think I like always it. think of it. That's yeah. why. <laughs> One foot in front of the other. Put one foot in front of the other. Um, when Avalon was here, we talked about the um, the umpire. No. Umpire? No, referee. What is he called in basketball? Referee. The referee. Um, but did they call him the umpire? Why am I mixed up there? Yeah, in, in the old in, days, in, in the original thirteen rules, okay. he was called an umpire. Okay. Um. Anyway, we said how if he is like God, he can see things that we can't see because we're yeah. busy playing the game, focused on what we're doing. Yeah. Um. And the same thing, I'm getting a vibe from this verse, verse four in the twenty third Psalm, is um that you you don't seem like it's a great perspective place to be in a valley first of all yeah because you're not on a mountaintop yeah, that's a good so point. you're in a valley yeah. and they're talking about shadows so it's always coming back to me about um lean not on your own understanding yeah and it's another one of those times is like it's like a foggy existence being a human mm-hmm. and I like that. can someone you've, look you've just been even saying some good stuff today <laughs> okay no for sure because we always say like oh like we try to understand these these grand terms we try to understand all this but imagine picture a valley now and, and a dark valley of shadows where you have walls on both sides right and it's foggy and you're hearing like i don't know howling or something oh wow <laughs> and you have little do you know what is going on above around on the yeah. other side and, and it's like you can't all you can perceive with your five senses are so limited right in this valley we're talking about yeah and so for sure what you said of, of this like and i think that is so much on earth we think we're the masters of our universe yeah but there's so we are literally in this foggy valley yeah and it's important to remember that and then like you just said lean not on your own understanding right and have faith and keep on keeping on yeah and, you know, um, if we're painting a terrible picture of Earth, um, I, I, some, I do that a lot because I just know how great heaven's going to be, you know? So yeah. I just always think, you know, yeah, it's good, but it's going to be better. But um, and then people say you should count your blessings and maybe that's rude to God and stuff. And I don't think it's rude to God. And, and in this um, prayer... I feel 
like because it starts out you know the the king james version is like yay though i walk Mm. through the valley of the shadow of death you know it's like it's like letting you acknowledge that it's not the most perfected place you know in all of you know creation it's like it's okay because you know a lot of people they feel i mean you shouldn't dwell or get super depressed about things but also you are allowed to say it's not great that this is my existence of what i'm not saying all of your you know what i'm trying to say yeah yeah i mean there is there's there's green pasture like there's still waters that's all in the same psalm right true so it's just this at this part they're letting you complain and then reassuring you yeah exactly and and because i I imagine if this verse wasn't here i won't i don't think the psalm would be as powerful as it is because there's a lot of things that one of the reasons why i wanted to read the bible on my own is because i was tired of just getting this you ever you get these real cheery christians and, and they're like everything's great when you yeah. put your when you put your faith in jesus right and like the world ha- and i'm there all like all right well i'm not happy so right. like <laughs> this sucks my job sucks all these things and david was who wrote this psalm correct yes mm-hmm. i i said david wrote all the psalms and i got corrected on it the reason david this psalm included is my favorite is because i felt he was the most relatable mm-hmm. he had these real dark patches where yeah he was he was paranoid of, of people like people addressing him and stuff right and he he had very highs and he had very lows but he always kept the faith right and so it, it was a relatable person to look at and say he's he's put all of his faith in god but he still acknowledges right there's evils in his life he's walk the whole thing might be a walk through the valley of the shadow of death right but and then he always acknowledges god but i will fear no evil because right. you're with me no matter right. how dark it gets right you are with me and you're always leading me in the right direction. You take me to the meadows. You take me to the still waters. Yes. It doesn't matter how bad it gets, as long as you have faith. Right. Right. Um, you know, because when we when we did the first line that said, you know, um, I shall not want, I said, you know, people could take problems with that to say yeah. what I do want. Um, and then this allows you to say, of course, you probably want. You're in the valley of the shadow of death. But even still, you know, and then if you just take those words, like I said, people take a lot of it out of context and use it for um, different impact. Yeah. And if you just hear the word, um, the words, the valley of the shadow of death, you it's kind of unbelievable that a few words after that, you're going to hear the word comfort. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But it does. Yeah. Um, huh. We, we didn't even say those last words yet. But... um. That's a very good point. It, it, it's 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 interesting. That was, a, that was another good thing you said. You just keep, <laughs> keep get me on my heels. It's not saying my my it's my rod and my staff, which are are they're wep- weapons, but they're not my sword and my dagger. Right. It's my the my rod and my staff, which I think is more of a defensive weapon, mm-hmm. and not will protect even protect me will defend me it's it will comfort me right and i think that i think it's what it's saying folks is once again if we're looking at it not so much as literal demons and and, and this valley of the shadow death it's not just life it's something way worse Mm -hmm. it's saying we're going through this and it's showing the power of god right like just the sheer power right of god is what's bringing me comfort it's like with that person who's walking with you you know um because that were with me they're very powerful and it's comforting to know right. that it's you want to go back to the kid um the kid uh parent analogy mm-hmm. if you have just a your dad is is, is an i don't know uh mma fighter or your mom or your mom's an M- ronda rousey's your mom or uh bullet valentina bullet valentina's <laughs> your mom and you walk around and you ever see kids who like they know their dad's tough and mm-hmm. they, they put, their chest is a little yeah. puffed out because it's like even if they were getting bullied at school, it's like, especially them, because they truly believe that their dad's invincible. Oh, yeah, and, right. And, and that is what makes them comforted. Right. And so when your dad, when your father, God, is actually this powerful, right. powerful right. thing, it's it's not a, I hope he wins. It's, it brings me a comfort. Like, yeah, Look comfort. who I'm with. Look who, look who yeah. I'm traveling with. My, my compadre. Yeah. It's bringing me comfort. There's, um, there's a line in the Bible... Um, 
spare the rod and spoil the child. And a lot of people who believe in um, hitting their children use it as um, support that they should. Yeah. But a lot of other people say, no, a rod for a shepherd is a guidance tool, you know? Mm, and yeah. so if you think of rod and staff, like um, definitely can be used for defense and it would be like you know yeah. if the wolf was coming but also you know huh. if the shepherd has a staff he's stable as a table you know like dad's yeah. not going to fall down the mountain dad has a staff but he also has the rod and the rod is helping guide you to safety so it's just comfort you just keep going just today comfort. wait i need that, that music you give oh, no. <laughs> the praise music uh, the, holy <laughs> the holy spirit's in you the holy spirit's in you no, okay. I didn't even know that. Uh, it makes a lot of sense. The rod is—it's a guiding tool. Mm-hmm. Spare the rod, spare guidance, not not spare whipping. Right. And that is, and it it brings it more to why the I see valley, a light bulb over your head. <laughs> that makes it more why the valley of the shadow of death is is life. It's it's not because once again, like I said, if the evils are all the things that happen in life, but it's what it's what we said before is where. You're presented a path. It's right. not you're not getting dragged by the collar through life. It's just that like guiding the sheep, where it's like literally you're you know helping you on your way. This is the way. Yeah. Do you know the way? <laughs> yeah. You don't have to hide from life. It might seem scary, but you're not alone. Man, oh man, we really just knocked it out we of the did. ballpark. Well, we knew well, this. I, I we, say we. I didn't no, we <laughs> did. It's team effort. Yeah. I can't talk to Frank. He never talks back to me. Ain't nobody got time for that. We knew this would be a good week, though. Yeah, we knew this would be a good week. We we had been waiting on it, and let me tell you, it did not disappoint. <laughs> yeah. But, folks, that was Walk Through Thursday. Um, Let us know what you think down in the comments about this particular verse. And check out the other ones if you haven't seen them yet. And how many more do we have? I think there's six. six. So yeah, so two, we have two, two more. more weeks. Mm-hmm. So look out for those in the upcoming weeks. But until then, tomorrow is... Fill in the blank Friday. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Fill in the blank Friday, and um, it should be a good one. We'll see what happens. Yeah. But that's that. Like, subscribe, and tell your neighbor's cat about us. Peace. <laughs>